I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're with Jennifer Nunez, who is the Teacher of the Year for the Natomas Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you're a special education teacher at American Lake School. Yes. Tell us about the program, uh, this, the class that you teach. So the class that I currently teach is for students in second and third grades um, who have moderate to severe disabilities. And um, so it's technically a special day class. Um, however, about 70% um, of my students are mainstreamed for um, components of their day. Explain what a special day class is. A special day class is a classroom where students are receiving instruction from a special education teacher um, that is more individualized to their needs and based on their IEP goals. Um, in in terms of um, their uh, instruction and utilizing the modifications and accommodations in uh, their IEP um, for them to be um, educated. And are they in your class part of the day, the whole day? Some students are in my class for the full day. Other students are in my class for part of the day. Um, it's definitely individualized. Every child in my room does have a different educational plan, individualized educational plan, and um, it depends on what their needs are and what uh, their abilities are in terms of um, what is worked on and how much of their time is spent in the general education class versus my classroom. And so during your day you're working with your students and he needs something, she needs this, he needs that, she needs this, and so while you're working with all these students, and also in your mind, you're splitting your brain to know who needs what when. That's got to be a challenge. It is, um, but it is um, very rewarding, and um, it is a challenge that I enjoy. Um, it's great to be able to reach a student um, and help them progress educationally and academically and as individuals. Um, most of my students have needs in um, all of the five domains, um, not just academic or academic and speech. Um, they have significant needs in, in every area, and so um, in my class we are educating the whole child. Um, a lot of my kids have adaptive skills um, that they are needing to um, improve upon. Um, Explain adaptive skills. Um, adaptive skills like independent living skills, self-help skills. Um, toileting, um, tying their shoes, um, looking after their own belongings, those, those types of things. Wide range. A, yeah, a wide range of, of um, needs. And so how important is that for you to have a really good connection with the families to, to, to keep that transition going so that when you're working with a student Tell the, telling the parent about the success and also the needs of the student. Right, I think communication with families is imperative regardless of the population that you're instructing. Um, but definitely even more so with my students. Um, a lot of my students are nonverbal, and so um, to you know, support um, their families understanding what they're learning at school, it's really important that I have a good communication with my families. And um, so I do have daily communication, whether it be in written form or um, phone call or um, person to person, you know, at pickup time. Um, I'm having constant communication with my families so that uh, they know, you know, what their child is working on in school and hopefully we can generalize that also at home. Um, but also, you know, just to be able to have that communication open to um, best um, serve their child. So you, you have to have an open line of communication where you are, you know, relaying the, the challenges you're facing, but also the successes. What's it like when you get to, to share with the family a success, you know, something really good that happened? It's, it's amazing and it's, it's wonderful. Um, my students, you know, are amazing kids because there's, um, you know, a lot of times in formal assessments, you know, they might not be able to show what they know. Um, but my kids have a lot of strengths and a lot of interests and a lot of things that they would like to communicate. And so for them to be able to open up and be able to, um, you know, to show their opinions and, and show you know, their, um, their interests and also to show progress you know, academically or um, to show progress in their independent living skills, you know, to be able to do more things for themselves 
um, as they work towards become, becoming independent adults mm -hmm. is amazing. That's, that's why we do it every day. So it's a milestone for your students, whereas for somebody else it's, it's just part of living. Right, yeah. you're right. For, for my students, um, you know, education is definitely, um, you know, we're educating the whole child. It's definitely um, wraparound instruction. It's mm -hmm. instruction in every area to help them um, develop, you know, as individuals, not just that academic piece that we think of in terms of why kids go to school. So the professional development you get must be invaluable to kind of get you prepared for new things that are happening or new ways to address something that, you know, you've dealt with for a long time. Yes, um, you know, professional development development is very important and, um, you know, being a lifelong learner, people talk about being a lifelong learner, especially being teachers, and um, it's, it's critical, you have to. Um, you have to be able to continue to build your skill set, con continue to um, add to that toolbox because a child's going to walk in the door that the, the tools that you currently have aren't going to to work for this child and it's our job to figure out what does work for that child and to um, utilize that to help them be successful. And also gives you an opportunity to, to kind of connect with other teachers, special education teachers, and say what works for you, what works for you. Oh yes, definitely, yeah. the collaboration and um, not just with my special education teacher peers but my general education teacher peers, having that rapport and having that collaboration is super important. Um, and with our support staff, our occupational therapists and speech therapists and my instructional assistants, it really does take a, a full team to properly educate um, students, especially students with more significant needs. So the students who are in your class for part of the day, are they in, in general education for other parts of the day? So yes. So you must have to really work closely with those teachers as well. Yes. To, to mainstream those students. Yes, we have to, we have to be a, a very um, cohesive team. Yeah. Um, and communicate well with each other and um, you know, support each other to support the student and to make sure that what they're learning maybe in you know, the occupational therapy session is generalized into our classroom and into maybe the general ed classroom and um, being able to support that across um, each of the environments so that the student really does learn the skill and, and have it independently. So what inspired you to not only be a teacher, but a special education teacher? So um, my inspiration for being a special education teacher um, came in college. I was um, working at the Children's Center at Sac State University um, all through my undergraduate. And um, they had um, a, a, a program where um, students were fully included that had more significant disabilities, uh, with developmental disabilities. Um, they were included into the infant and toddler and preschool programs there and um, service providers would come to the center and work with the classroom teacher and work with the student assistants um, on um, how to support the students and to generalize what they were working on with the child into their daily life. And um, I had the opportunity to be the student assistant mm -hmm. that was assigned to a couple of our students, our children that were there um, with um, developmental disabilities and just um, fell in love with it and just thought that it was so wonderful and so effective um, that um, services, seamless services can be brought by a team to a child in a general education setting where they were with their their peers and their their friends and models and um, it was a great experience and that was that's what steered me towards um, entering the credential program and you dove in with both feet yeah so what does it mean to you to be a, a teacher of the year for your district it is a, a huge honor um, and um, I'm still you know quite stunned um, I'm but I am very honored um, I'm, I'm also I'm most honored because I can think of all, all of these wonderful teachers and specialists that I work with that, um, you know, that, you know, for them to, to nominate me is, um, is um, very flattering and, um, and I'm very honored that, um, that my peers as, as well as um, our administrators um, are, you know, are, that, you know, think that highly of me. I, um, I'm very um, 
very honored you know, by that mm -hmm. and um, just think that I have a wonderful team of, of people to work with and um, both within my classroom and within my school community and um, I just you know really you know feel honored for the for the um, acknowledgement. Yeah. Well congratulations to you and thanks for spending some time with us we appreciate it. We've been speaking with Jennifer Nunez who is the Teacher of the Year for the Natomas Unified School District. Thank you. Thank you.